The 73rd edition of the State Farm Magic City Classic truly lived up to its billing between Alabama State and Alabama A&M. The fans were out here in bunches. The bands played well, and both football teams played their hearts out right here on the gridiron. And while Alabama State held a lead throughout the game, it was Alabama A&M that executed a great two-minute drill to win the football game 37-36. to As mentioned, the Alabama State Hornets scored early and often, and that's what gave them an early lead. However, no lead in college football is ever sacred. It's a, it's a process. This is a life game, and uh, but it, 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 there were other mistakes. We had a drop punt that set them up in great field position, allowed them to score. So things like that uh, kind of hurt us and uh, uh, let them be in the game and, uh, of course, uh, allowed us to lose it. In the second half, Alabama A&M came out on fire. Their quarterback, Jamison Lee, passed for 319 yards and had three touchdowns. And no touchdown was more important than the one he threw to Tevin McKenzie. That touchdown gave Alabama A&M a late lead. I seen Tevin McKenzie running open. I gave him a chance to make the play, and he did. He brought it down for me, and we won the game th uh, thanks to Tevin McKenzie and my O-line. It's just a mistake that we made. You know, it's a part of the game. Coach Reggie Borla's team had a chance to win. Earl Lucas dropped a potential game-winning touchdown with less than 20 seconds left on a third down. So with 12 seconds left, Preston Clark, who's been pretty spot on all through the season, set up for a field goal. The kick went up, but it was wide left. And we knew we had to kick it. I mean, there wasn't any, you know, thinking on, you know, doing something else. It was 37-36 in our favor, and I don't care what the score was. That's a great win. It was a tough loss for the Alabama State Hornets, but they have to find a way to regroup quickly because next week they travel to Baton Rouge to take on the Southern Jaguars, the defending SWAC champions. Covering the Magic City Classic with the Alabama State Hornets, I'm Mo Carter for the Alabama News Network.